Hello, we continue with the next topic in negative feedback. So, uh, basically, it, it is about how to analyze and identify and amplify circuit employing a negative feedback. Uh, so, we are going to review several circuits and how to identify the type of amplifier and the type of feedback used in the circuit. Okay, so in order to determine that, Suppose that you have an amplifier over here. Uh, the output signal being taken could be V out or current. Okay, V O or I O. Uh, so in general, uh, we have mentioned it is X O. Okay, so we have to determine either one. Okay, how to do that? You can do that by using either test for voltage or test for current. Okay, so now we move on to test for voltage. Okay, so in order uh, to test for voltage, first you have to short circuit the load. You have RL over here. So you short circuit it. Okay, so with this, your output will become zero because your output VO over here is tied to the ground. So the signal written from the output to the feedback network is zero. So since the signal written is zero, this type of amplifier has a voltage feedback because we are testing for voltage. And the other test is test for current. Okay, you don't have to do both test for voltage or test for current because the result will be the same. This is just how to do the test for current. Okay, the same circuit. Okay, you have a load over here. So for test for current, you open the load. Okay, so your load right now is open. When this is open, your V out is not zero. Or uh, in this time, uh, we didn't determine either it is voltage or current. So we say that the output uh, signal is not zero. So meaning that there is a current flowing from the output node to the feedback network. So it is a current feedback. So now, we have determined that, okay, uh, the output signal could be voltage or current depending on the test that we did just now. Now, we move to the uh, summing point at the input section. So, you have the source signal, XS, and you have the input to the amplifier over here. And there is another input to this summing node which is uh, coming from the feedback network. So, you have to determine uh, whether the source, input or feedback signal in series or parallel. Okay, so this is the second part that you have to determine. First part, the output. The second part, how it is mixed. Okay, so let's look at the first example. Suppose that I have this circuit. Okay, we, we want to find the feedback network and the gain for this circuit. In order to do this, you have first determine what type of amplifier is this and then determine the feedback connection over here. So how to determine that? So we do test for voltage. For test for voltage, you should uh, short circuit the load over here. Okay, so when it is short circuit, your VO over here is connected to the ground. So your VO is zero. When VO is zero, meaning that there is no signal coming from the output node to the feedback network over here. So since the signal return is zero, signal return is zero, and we are testing for voltage. So this type of amplifier has a voltage feedback, meaning that at the output, the voltage is taken as the signal being fed to the feedback network. So next, you have to determine how the input over here is connected. Okay, so if you look over here, we have VS, VI and VF and all these are connected in series. So meaning that it is a voltage series feedback. We have determined the V out just now and at the input, it is being fed in series. So it is a voltage series feedback. And for a voltage series feedback, you have to determine the type of amplifier. Uh, before that, I show I will show another test 
okay this time is test for current just now we do the test for voltage for test for current you have to open the load okay when you open the load there is a current flowing from output node to the feedback network your output is not zero because it is open right here so there is a signal in this case it is a current to the feedback circuit okay so the signal written from the output to the input section is not zero signal written is not zero since we are testing for current so it is not a current when not a current so it is a voltage feedback and then you have to determine the connection at the input it is in series okay your vs vi and vf is in series so it is a voltage series feedback so meaning that if you do test for current the result will be similar for the test for voltage so you have to uh, do either one you don't have to do both okay so now in order to find the feedback factor and also the gain first you have to determine uh, what type of amplifier the voltage series is for a voltage amplifier so for voltage amplifier you have to find what is the ratio of vo over vs over here and in this circuit this is the feedback circuit so vf is this is defined as the output of this box which is the voltage across r2 this node is coming to the input of the uh, feedback network so it is a vo so you can using the voltage divider you can find the vf which is vo multiply with r2 divided by r1 plus r2 which is this one vf equals to vo multiply with r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so from there rearrange the equation vf over vo will simply r2 over r1 plus r2 so we have defined that for a feedback network beta is vf this feedback signal over the output signal so your beta is equals to r2 over r1 plus r2 as for the gain okay we have to find what is uh, vo over vs and for input section over here you have a vs over here minus plus plus minus plus minus vf okay so we can write the equation over here vs equals to vi plus vf okay but the positive input to the amplifier v plus and the negative input to the amplifier which is your op amp v minus are equal v plus equals to v minus v plus equals to vs and your v minus equals to your vf so we can write that vs is equals to vf this vs equals to vf because uh, right here v plus and v minus are equal so what is your overall gain which is af and we define that as vo over vs so from this vs equals to vf okay so i can write vo over vs since vs is vf it is vo over vf and it is one over beta just now uh, we have find the beta beta is vf over vo so vo over vf is just one over beta so your gain will be r1 plus r2 divided by r2 r1 uh, plus r2 over r2 is one so i can simply write one plus r1 over r2 so this is the overall gain so it is very important you have to determine the feedback topology of feedback connection for the circuit first before you can find the uh, feedback factor or feedback network and the gain because uh, by definition for voltage amplifier it is vo over vs but for beta it is vf over vo okay so now we move to another example the same thing we want to find the feedback network and the gain for the circuit but the configuration of the circuit is different my load is over here rl okay so what you have to do okay i do test for voltage for test for voltage you short circuit the load okay 
when you short circuit the load what will happen okay uh, when it is short circuit the output of your amplifier is here is disconnected directly to the feedback network so meaning that the signal from the output return to the feedback network and to the input of the amplifier is not zero signal return is not zero and we are testing for voltage so meaning that since the signal return is not zero it is not a voltage that is being taken at the output to the uh, to be fed to the uh, network feedback network okay so now you have to determine at the input section how does the input of your source input to the amplifier and the signal from the feedback is connected okay uh, it is in series okay and for this example just now it is a current feedback because the signal is not zero if you do test for current it, it will give the same answer you open the load over here since the load is open there is no path from the output to the feedback network so meaning that the current or there is no signal being fed from the output to the feedback network so the signal return is zero since the signal return is zero we are testing for current so it is a current that is being selected as the output signal being fed to the feedback network so it is a current feedback at the input section i have mentioned just now uh, how does vs vi and vf connected okay so in this example it is in series right so if you see over here vs vi vf it is in series since it is a current series feedback for current series feedback it is a transconductance amplifier so you know that this type of amplifier is transconductance once you know the feedback topology then only you will know the type of amplifier from these two you can determine the feedback network beta and also the overall gain so in order to get that first we look at this uh, circuit we have a current i over here i define a current i i over there and the current through the rf is if so at this particular node i have uh, this equation we're using kirchhoff current law two currents going in ii and io so io plus ii one current going out from the node which is if so io plus ii equals to if but you know that for op m ii is zero so you left with io equals to if and if is simply the current flowing from this node to this node meaning that vf minus zero divided by rf or we can simply write if equals to vf over rf and from there we arrange this equation you have vf io so vf over io is rf and we know that just now uh, for this particular circuit okay uh, the beta is vf over io okay since it is a transconductance uh, circuit okay now we look into the vs vs is equals to this particular node which is vi uh, sorry v plus and v plus is equals to v minus and v minus is connected to vf so vs is equals to vf and we know that vf is simply i multiplied with the resistance over here if rf so from there uh, we know that if is equals to io so i just simply return if as io over here and we want to find the overall gain which is we know that we are taking the current with respect to the voltage over here so io over vs io you have vs over here so it is simply 1 over rf and this is atc which is the transconductance amplifier so this is the overall voltage gain So now another example okay the same thing different circuit you want to find beta and a okay do test for voltage 
test for voltage, you short circuit this thing. Okay. Since it is connected to the ground, your VO will be zero, meaning that there is no signal written from the output to the feedback network. Okay. Since it is grounded zero. Okay. Signal written zero. Since we are testing for voltage, so it is a voltage feedback. And at the input, you'll see that you have two sources. Uh, one current going here, another current going to the RO, and another current going to RF. So it is uh, a shunt connection. If you do test for current, open circuit the RL. Okay. Since it is open, there is still a current being fed to the feedback network from this path. Okay, so there, the signal written is not zero. Signal written is not zero. You are testing for current, so it is not current. When it is not current, it is voltage being taken at the output. And it has a voltage feedback. And at the source just now, I have mentioned, you have this. Uh, current parallel, meaning it is uh, one branch to RO, one into the input of the op amp. So it is parallel at the input section. So we have a voltage feedback parallel or we say that it is a shunt. So it is a voltage shunt feedback. And for voltage shunt feedback, okay, it is for trans impedance amplifier. Okay, voltage shunt is trans impedance, meaning that you have to find the overall gain, which is VO over the current over here. Okay. So, at this particular node, I define my current, which is IS, the current going in. Going out, I have II and another current, IF. But we know that the current into the op amp is zero. II is zero. Okay. So, we left with IS equals to IF. Simply that. Okay, and IF is flowing from this node to this node. This node is V minus. V minus is equals to uh, V plus and the value is zero. So I can write V minus subtract with the VO divide by the volt. Uh, sorry, the resistor over here is RO. And we can simply write this minus VO over RO. So from there, your beta will be feedback. Uh, current divided by the output voltage. Remember, beta definition is feedback signal over output signal. So, in this case, it is IF over VO. So, from this equation, you have IF, you have VO. So, just rearrange this equation. So, my beta, which is IF over VO, is simply minus 1 over RO. And for the uh, gain, AF, Okay, AF will be VO over the IS. VO over IS is simply minus RO. Uh, where did I get this? Remember over here, you have uh, beta IF over VO. So, IF is IS. So, IS over VO or VO over IS is minus RO. So, your A AF is actually 1 over beta, opposite of this. Okay, so with that, you can determine the uh, feedback network and the overall gain. What you have to do is simply do either test for voltage or test for current. Test for voltage, you short circuit the load. Test for current, you open the load. Then look at the input section, uh, whether the signal is being mixed in series or shunt. From there, you can determine the type of feedback topology and from there, you can determine the type of amplifier. From then, from there only, you can determine the feedback network beta and the overall gain. That's it. Thank you.